How can we reduce inflammation in our body through a simple practical exercise? Now, if you have seen my videos before, you know that in life, everything that is alive to the fullest flows to the fullest. And everything that gets blocked or stops flowing heads towards a flat line. Now in our body, flow or the electrical signaling between neurons happens around the ideal pH level. Now inadequate voltage or low pH or lack of oxygen interferes with the body's ability to generate new life. Now what is pH? pH is a measure of how acidic or how alkaline a fluid is. Now a slightly alkaline pH level, our body flows without obstructions or without inflammation. But when our body is too acidic, our body becomes prone to inflammation and disease symptoms like low energy uh, and chronic fatigue, uh, inflamed gums, shortness of breath, coughing, yeast fungal overgrowth, uh, weight gain, obesity, increased heart rate, diabetes, headaches, sleepiness, osteoporosis, etc, etc, etc. So in short, to reduce inflammation or to make our body less prone to disease symptoms, we would like our body in a slightly more alkaline state. Now, the way that we breathe makes a lot of difference in our body being acidic or alkaline. Now, the deeper we breathe, the more alkalizing the effect on our body. Now, when we do not breathe in a deep manner or take shallow breath, uh, more carbon dioxide is trapped in our blood, which makes our system highly acidic and more prone to disease. So how can we reduce inflammation or how can we alkalize our body fast? Now we can do this by doing the following simple breathing exercise. Now put one hand on your tummy and one on your chest. Now when you inhale, your tummy should inflate and when you exhale, the opposite should happen. You can start by four seconds of deep inhale, four seconds of hold and six seconds of exhaling. Now let's do this together. You can start by four seconds of deep inhale. Four seconds of hold. And six seconds of exhaling. Now you can do this for five minutes a day to alkalize your body and to ensure our healthy flow state. Uh, another very important factor to consider to avoid blockage of our healthy flow in our body is to solve chronic stress. Because through chronic stress, we literally cramp or block our body all the time, which also results into incoherent communication due to blockages, which can lead to inflammation and consequential disease symptoms. Now to break free from chronic blockages, chronic stress, make sure to click here so I can send you the four complimentary videos. Now enjoy your healthy flowing state from the very inside out. I will see you in the videos.